do you think? Hey. <laughs> um, see all the little pillows? Chris made those, and she made the curtain thing. Oh, cool. And there's your present from Daddy on the bed. Well, that was the big number in the big box. And then, you can go check out Sabrina's room? Or? Yeah, guess what? You guys can get to the other room to move the closet now. But we got to be careful because the doors you aren't no, quite you set. You got to let go of me. We don't want to have them fall. We're go on. The closet. Go on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, 
so we, much time so I can sit down. Babs, we gotta hurry because I got a present for Mick and you guys gotta wrap it. It's yeah. awesome though because it's pink. Ugh. It's pink. Don't you want to check out all your cool pillows and stuff? Yeah. Wow! <laughs> Mom and I worked really hard on, on these rooms. Everybody worked really hard. Craig, Oz, Renee. Well, I wasn't not including them. <laughs> okay, honey. After breakfast tomorrow, we gotta got something we need to do. To Sam's. Hey. Daddy's having a welcome home party on Saturday. Yep. Aunt Peanut. And Nomi. Yep. And Jennifer and Lily. Grandpa wants to come, but he uh, he's gonna be out in South Dakota. He's gonna work. And Aaron and Ryan are bringing Elias. Yep. Mark and Andrew are gonna be here. Woody and Corey. Woody and Corey and Will Holden. I hope those are happy tears. Yeah. It was a happy yeah. surprise. <laughs> Ooh. If we don't have that light bulb over there. Looks like a shade of love to be poking up my hair. Yeah. My face. Did you check out your room? Did you miss me? Your messy face? 
Are you waiting for your surprise? Yeah, what do you think it is? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> okay. You ready? Take it over to show Jen. Yeah. Okay. Come out here. Come around here and look. Look around the front of the house. Look around the front of the house. Keep going. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey. Who is it? It's my dad. Yeah. Oh yeah. Surprise. Was that a big surprise? I hope she's not disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> she's probably like her imagination going crazy. What's she okay, gonna be bringing in me? Next door. She says when my mom gets home, I'll I'll bring my I'll come back over and show you my big surprise. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is it. I hope you like it. Do you like your surprise? I told you you'd like it, didn't I? Yeah. Hey, Grandma said it was a big surprise. Yeah. Oh my God. Huge. Enormous. Yeah. You look like you've been having fun. Show me him how big your hand is. Oh yeah. <laughs> you have daddy's hands, huh? Show him your hands. <laughs> daddy a big kiss. Uh, yeah. Cool. Okay. Are you ready to get down or do you want to show him the hands, how big the hands are? My hand is almost getting bigger. It's almost getting bigger. Yeah. It began as a fun day at the ballpark and throwing out the first pitch. But a Puyallup boy had another big surprise waiting for him. Dave Hinman reports on a special homecoming at Cheney Stadium. It was a beautiful day for Rainier's baseball. Partly sunny skies, cool but not cold. The smell of hot dogs and popcorn wafting through the park. It was also family day at Cheney Stadium. Kids of all ages flowed through the gates and scrambled for a treasured autograph. I passed out because it was just so amazing. I'm the only one who got to do this in my family. Josiah was chosen to throw out the first pitch. And being a little eager, he had it all planned out. Throw a fastball, obviously, or, or I can throw a curveball. Perfect. What he didn't know was, catching for him was his hero, his dad, Air Force Staff Sergeant Jesse James, just off the plane from a year in Korea. Jeez, it means everything, coming back to my family. I mean, coming home. I've been away from my family for a year. I'm looking forward to seeing my kids' faces. And the pitch. Daddy! <laughs> A family reunited on family day at the ballpark, summed up by the look on a young boy's face. Dave Hinman, Pierce County News. Well, for the past six months, Lieutenant Paul Carroll has been overseas, but he is home now. And we were there when his son got the big surprise. Yeah, we ran the story initially on Friday, but on Veterans Day, we wanted to run it again, partly because it is so special and partly because, well, we could just run one of these every day yeah, and, sure and watch could. it over and over again. Here's News Force Nigel Robertson with the surprise. Just look at him. Josh Carroll, an eighth grader at Lead Academy in Greenville, has no idea what is about to happen. His mother, however, does. Jamon Williams. You see, Josh thinks he is just at another end of the nine weeks awards program, but what he doesn't know is just outside the cafeteria. Yeah, we're going to try to pull it off. He thinks I'm coming home in about three weeks. Yep, his dad, Lieutenant Paul Carroll, is home from Afghanistan. Mom and the school staff planned the whole surprise. Today we also want to pay honor and tribute to another type of service. Now the moment is just seconds away. The final award is for service to your country. Josh and his mom are called up in front of the whole school. Now, just watch and listen to what happens next. Please make welcome back home, First Lieutenant.
dad and son together again. Nigel Robertson, WIFF News 4, Greenville. Well, there's some, there's some raw emotion for you. I want us to talk after just, this. That's just fantastic. Mm. And apparently the surprises continued. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Friday night, First Lieutenant Carroll's two other sons also came home from the Citadel for the weekend. They also had no idea that their dad would be there waiting for them. Mentory students got the surprise of their lives this afternoon. Who's that? Last year, Major Eric Doggett was deployed to Afghanistan. Today, his wife Catherine first met him at the airport, then rushed him off to surprise their kids. Reagan and Connor had no idea their dad was coming home today. The kids were presenting their posters that Catherine helped them make for when their dad would come home. The whole family was overjoyed with the surprise. The Doggetts will soon be relocating to Germany. I want to turn now to the story that has really made our day, day frankly, our week. A nine-year-old Florida girl got the surprise of her life last week. She was doing a spelling bee at school, and Skylar Johnson was given the word sergeant. Well, she got it right, and then her teacher asked, do you know any sergeants? That's where her dad comes in. My dad? Your dad? Today, boys and girls, we have a very special sergeant here for Skylar. Staff Sergeant Theron Johnson has been on duty in southern Iraq. He hadn't seen his daughter since Christmas, and she was not expecting him. And as you can tell, joining us now, Sergeant Johnson, Skyler, and also Skyler's brother, Christian. It's great to have all of you with us this morning. Good morning. It's great to be here. Uh, Sergeant, I, I want to start with you. You really did some advanced planning on this one, going so far as to change the date that you told your kids that you would be home, correct? Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of messed up and told him I was going to be home at the end of September, which is which was correct, but because of the the spelling bee thing that we created, I had to change it and tell him, you know, something different. So, so it, it worked out. So Skyler, <laughs> when you initially heard from your dad that he wasn't going to be home as early as you thought, that must have been pretty tough news to get. Yeah, I kind of cried after that after I got off the phone. Do you think it was Did worth you? it now? <laughs> Yes. Yeah. So take us back. You spelled the word sergeant perfectly, Skylar. No big surprise there probably to your dad or even to your teacher. But when you realized that it was your dad there on the stage, um, if you can, tell us what that was like for you. What was it like to have your dad hug you? Well, it was amazing. Like, you can't even describe it. Did it feel real? <laughs> yes, very real. What about you, Sergeant? Did it feel real to you? Oh, yeah. I couldn't wait. I was behind the curtain, and uh, I kept feeling my cue, and I was telling the lady that was operating the curtain, one of their assistants there, a con, I was like, open the curtain, open the curtain. I'm ready. <laughs> you know, I, She was only like three feet in front of me. And, you know, We were that close, but the curtain separated us, and she didn't even know. What a fantastic <laughs> surprise. Now, Christian, you're, if I'm correct, you're at a different school, but you got a little surprise of your own, right? Uh, yes. Um, they told me I was going to early dismissal. And I didn't know what I was going to do, so I walked up to the stage, and I saw my dad in his uniform with my sister. So what was that like for you when you realized Dad was home early and he came to surprise you? I felt like it was a dream that came to real life. <laughs> so you guys have had, uh, you've had some nice time together, and I know you have a few more days, sir, before you, uh, you have to go back. What have you been up to? Oh, uh, we're at Disney. Disney World. <laughs> Not so bad to come home and take them to Disney. <laughs> it's been a really fun time. This may be a tough one, tough one for you to, to top, Sergeant Johnson. You're going to continue the surprises you think next time you come home. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I guess they'll expect it next time because they, you know, uh, I, I doubt I could top this. It's, it's really come unexpected form, and the way I, <clears throat> the way they, uh, Mr. Roberts and Mr. Ryapel changed everything there at Boca Raton Elementary. They made it a really special moment. Well, they really, they, so they actually helped you put this moment together. In fact, it, 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 correct me if I'm wrong, but they actually staged the spelling bee in many ways so that you could do this with Skylar. Yes, it, it, was, it was exactly what was staged. I, I contacted them a month before I came back to let them know, and then we worked it all. We had a month to do it, so it was plenty of time to plan, and, and it worked out. It was very special. I mean, it, I, 
little dot where it allows it was going to be the feel-good story of the week, I guess is what people are calling it. <laughs> well, I mean, it really is. It's, it's fantastic. It's, it's always, always does someone's heart good to see a reunion of one of our, <laughs> one of our members in the military with their kids. But, boy, you really, uh, you really talked a lot of them. Sergeant, thank you very much for being with us, and thank you for your service, sir. Thank you. Praise God. Thank you. All right, you guys, enjoy your few days with your dad, and uh, give him lots of hugs to take back with him. We know you'll have more when he gets home next time. Thanks again. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs>